What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be going over kind of a narrated technical analysis. I'm gonna walk you through my thought process as I'm looking at daily and weekly timeframe charts. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kyle and this is Opinicus Holdings. What's going on guys? In this video, I wanted to go ahead and complete some technical analysis and just kind of narrate it. Um, I'm going basically what I'm going to be doing is going through my watch list. Um, I don't know if I'll get to all of it or just a handful of names here. We'll see how much time I have, but I'm going to clear all the lines off of the chart, the particular chart that I'm looking at. And from there, I'm going to draw new lines while uh, narrating it while I'm conducting this analysis. Today is Friday, December 7th. 2018 I'm going to be looking at both daily and weekly time frame charts um, depending on the chart and the scenario as well as potentially some four hour charts so hopefully you guys can get some additional perspective and do technical analysis via this video and uh, if you have any questions just leave them in a comment below if you're watching this on YouTube all right, so let's get started. First chart we're looking at is Apple. Let me go ahead and clear. Let me go ahead and clear all of the drawings off. By the way, I am using Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. And yes, just cleared Apple off there. So first thing I want to look at actually is the weekly. I prefer to go larger time frame, and then from there kind of zoom in, if you will, on the shorter time frames. So we're looking at a weekly chart here. Uh, first thing I notice is I want to see if there is a bit. Seems to be a little bit of a weekly trend line right here. see that it kind of wants to connect almost all the way down here I do like that line kind of gives us a much longer term idea of what's happening beyond that I do see some support in this zone uh, we have a support resistance line right around here. Right around here, we'll say. Go ahead and draw that line there. And I do use a different format for my support lines, uh, support resistance lines, as well as my trend lines. Just so when I'm quickly glancing at a chart, I can have a more accurate idea of what's going on. That was just about all I really saw here on the weekly. I'm sure there's something else going on that I'm missing. One thing I do want to note is we do have a cross ender about to occur. I won't go into much detail on that. You guys can look it up if you're curious. We do have a gap right here. Uh, looks like it was an earnings gap. And that gap was actually just filled today. Um, the, it was, it had attempted to fill previously. It looks like on this particular day, 1126, didn't fill all the way as we see. Today it completely filled. So that's definitely a noteworthy level that I just wanna notate here. And we can see that this recent support level, today's daily candle actually closed below it, um, as well as the big psychological level of 170. Um, just being a round number, investors are gonna usually tend to and like that number. 
but I do see here this line actually extends rather interestingly. All the way over there. So you can kind of see that support and resistance line. The next support, if, if we're gonna assume that, if we're gonna make the assumption that Apple's gonna keep moving down um, and kind of continue the momentum here. The next support zone we see is gonna be in this range of 165. We'll just call it 165, nice round number again. And look, it goes all the way back over here. Pretty interesting. We could see a bounce off 165 as if 165 is lost will likely visit this next level, uh, 162 roughly, 161.9. And if that zone is lost, we may find support off of the next most recent low, which happens to be right, this red candle right here, about 16.5. So we'll get a, a smaller line there. So now with these support and resistance lines, I can quickly look at the chart. And if I'm in a particular day trade, I don't need to zoom all the way out. I can kind of see the levels as they're approaching. And I'm actually going to make this one red. Um, that's gonna let me know that this is the most recent low prior to this big drop. So this level right here. Uh, let's look at the four hours, see if there's anything else of interest. Nothing in particular that we didn't already get to see on the daily chart. So that's Apple. We do kind of have a little bit of a channel setting up right here maybe right here we could call it almost like this I like this channel right here a little bit seems to be something going on not yeah about right there and yeah we can see this channel Kind of steep, uh, not my favorite setup there. Leave it there. And we can see how I respected that line right there. And then actually broke right through. Respected it when it fell again. Couple of interesting things happening with Apple. I think this will be a good one in the coming days and weeks. Here again is the daily view of it. Apple is done. I do want to move on to, let's call it Facebook, or should we just go in order here? Call it Paymat. AMD. AMD kind of interesting because we had this recent spike higher uh, with this bull flag that I'd set up. Let me go ahead and remove my old drawing so I'm not biased or anything here. Now that those lines are gone, it actually helps me a lot to get a new fresh viewpoint on things. First thing I notice is this big gap right here. That gap tried to fill it on this spike here, November 7th. Wasn't all the way filled, but ended up filling it here. Then we had another little gap higher that was already filled as well on its way down. Um, I actually wanted to start on the weekly, my apologies. Here we are on the weekly. Maybe interesting. Nothing on the weekly that really interests me. Let's bring it down to the one day. Maybe we could find something. So I do see a little bit of 
of a channel setting up right here. So this channel is worth watching definitely. Um, see what happens there if it does break out of this lower channel. Oh, we do also have support off 19. So this is worth noting support resistance right here at 19. Next strong support in my opinion is probably going to be 17. Below 17, we have the recent, the most recent low here. Kind of corresponds right with our 16 support and resistance level. So this could get interesting if it loses this critical zone right here. If not, I suspect it'll bounce towards the higher part of the channel there. After AMD, AXP, this could get interesting. American Express. Yeah, there's definitely a nice trend going on here. How far does it go? Pretty much all the way, so that's a good level to watch. And then we do also have a little bit of a channel. Now on the daily. Check out the daily. I see a good level right here, 102, just about. Get our support and resistance line right there. And looking a little closer, do see a very interesting level right here at 106 not the best level maybe on the four hour and maybe also right here one 109 1010 even I like I like both of those Wait on that though. Looks like the 109 has more respect, more tests than the 110 area. Kind of interesting chart. Keep an eye on it from here. Definitely looks better on the daily. What's up next? Boeing BA. Boeing not looking so hot lately. Do have a pretty big level. Interestingly enough, it seems to be closer down here, like three. 17 and change and then we also have another pretty obvious one here at 330 which we've been watching in the Opinicus think tank good level to watch there now that's on the weekly chart of course let's bring it down do we have a, a trend going on
We'll keep an eye on that. Weekly. Daily. Same levels. Same levels on the daily. Critical level here. 317.3. And even this 310 area. And those will be the levels to watch for BA, for me anyway. Lose this, this level right here, lose 317.5, come test 310 if that does happen. Bounce above 330, potentially come test the 340. Not sure how quick, maybe 335 is more likely in the short term but it gets kind of choppy in there, so you kind of just have to play that one and just kind of keep an eye on it if you're day trading. Otherwise, I'd say a good target would just be straight up to 340, uh, but that may be over the course of a couple days, not just one day, so something to keep in mind if you're day trading Boeing. After BA, we have BABA, definitely one of my favorites. And so looking at it without any lines already on it, I mean, this is just so obvious, this channel here. Some good levels to watch there. Right there so we'll see how that looks on the daily and see if we need to make a, maybe a slight adjustment so that channels there but we also have something going on right here I think that was clear on the daily chart let's take a look at that just kind of cleaning things up here That's a pretty nice setup. Then we do also have kind of something going on here as well. Depends how you want to look at this. See that kind of consolidation and a move higher here within the within the range within the channel. And then of course we have some key levels that have been respected that need to be watched as well. 152.8, good support and resistance level to watch here on Baba. So it's the one seven point five level. Great risk and reward areas to make trades on. That's the whole reason behind all of this to get an idea of what price action is doing and to establish risk and reward levels. So after BABA, we want to take a look at BAC. Don't know if we'll see anything worthwhile on this chart. Looks like we were at uh, just about, well, definitely at lows on the year. So that's noteworthy. And then we do have a, if you look at where the year started, we kind of have a, a descending trend line right here where all the lows are meeting then we have a recent break below that so that's gonna be noteworthy and 
let me take a look at the weekly chart really quick. So we kind of get a more clear picture of what's happening here with this descending channel setup that's been happening all year. And I'm going to use the high of that candle and then the bodies of these candles to align this channel. Yeah, this is interesting as well because we do have a little bit of a trend line that's set up right here that's gone back a couple years however it just broke below on this last week so that is definitely going to be worth noting where do we have support our next support is going to be probably this 25 level do have some right here pretty light on the 26 but 25 seems to be a more important level and there we have it on the weekly so I'd look for since this descending channel kind of broke below here and the weekly candle closed below I'll look for a test of 25 perhaps even lower next support is going to be down here on 23 and that corresponds almost perfectly with the 200 EMA on the weekly chart. Going back to the daily. Yeah, so this gives us a kind of more clear picture of what's happening. Good risk reward levels to play off of with your trades. BIIB, Biogen. Okay, there's a gap there, it was already filled. And we found support down here off of 290. Let's take a look at the weekly. Looking back at the daily, uh, we can see support here as well on 290. That's more clear on the daily. Little bit of a wedge setting up here. Almost. Kind of interesting. We did have this break below. and just kind of keep an eye on the wedge. So if the wedge, if we break below this trend line, you could see 300 retested again. Of course, there is mild support here on 310. So we have to acknowledge that as well as a potential level for price action to bounce off of. So go ahead and get that line in there. That's it for Biogen. And that's a wrap on this narrated technical analysis video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment below. I'll try and get back to you. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.